Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Vashik and in this video I would like to explore a skill which I believe every great artist had and that is their ability to see the world through poetic eyes. If we pause and think, every great artist had two very distinct features. First of all, they were masters at their craft. Leonardo da Vinci could draw and paint wonderful pictures, while Lord Byron was master of language and could compose beautiful poetry. But there is this second skill which they share among each other, and that is their ability to see and feel differently than anyone else before them. And I believe that they worked as hard on learning to see and feel differently as they worked on perfecting their painting or writing skills. We often forget that history filters out mediocrity and there were plenty of painters at the time of Leonardo da Vinci and there were plenty of poets in the 19th century England, but history filtered out and left us Leonardo da Vinci and Byron because they went beyond mediocrity. And there are so many great books out there that can teach us to see the way those geniuses did. The first one that comes to my mind is Rainer Maria Rilke's book called Letters to a Young Poet. I believe it is a must read for everyone who wants to become an artist of any kind. And another book that is incredibly similar in its message, in its ideas and in its beauty is by a Japanese author Natsume Soseki and the book is called Kusamakura. It it is a philosophical novel and what makes it beautiful is that it looks at aesthetics, at what makes a great artist through the lens of Japanese culture. I really enjoyed reading this book and it's one of my favorites this year. But there is one writer who can really teach us how to see and how to feel differently. He is unfortunately largely forgotten today. His name is John Ruskin and Ruskin spent all of his life studying, writing and lecturing about great giants of art. And his books are filled with the advice on how those artists saw and what made those artists genius. I would like to read a quote by Charlotte Bronte and what she said about uh, Ruskin. She said, I feel now as if I had been walking blindfold. This book seems to give me eyes. She said that about Ruskin's book, Mod Modern Painters. And since I really loved his books, I wanted to record a video about him for quite some time, but I didn't know where to start until I suddenly stumbled upon this wonderful book in my local bookstore uh, called To See Clearly Why Ruskin Matters, written by Suzanne Fagens Cooper. This book is 200 pages long and I think I read it in one sitting because the way this book is written and the advice that it gives is so inspiring. The first thing that Ruskin says is that we should pay attention to what we like. He has a wonderful quote, he says, tell me what you like and I'll tell you what you are. And it is important to remember that in the 19th century at Ruskin's time, printing press was flourishing. And Ruskin noticed that people were buying many books and were getting very distracted by the quantity. This sounds incredibly familiar to our time. One of the ways that I adopted Ruskin's advice to my life is I decided to record everything that I consume. I watch a lot of YouTube videos, I listen to many podcasts, I read many articles and very often I forget about them. So I decided to bookmark them and at the end of the day write down what kind of value I got from those uh, pieces of information. I use an app called Day One, which makes it really easy to add and save links or write comments. And ever since I started practicing this technique, I started filtering out and I started to see value of each piece of content that I consume more clearly. The second advice that Ruskin gives might sound a little bit silly, but I believe that this is very useful. He advises us to take long walks. It is phenomenal to see how many people who I admire um, liked walking and came up with their great ideas while they walked. For example, Friedrich Nietzsche came up with his entire philosophy on his long walks in Switzerland. Same with the writer Hermann Hesse. He says that walking allows us to control our thoughts with the same pace as we breathe. 
The third advice that he gives, he asks us to draw. And at first, this advice is of course ridiculous for someone who has never drawn anything, who believes that they have no talent. But Roski says is that it doesn't matter whether you can draw or not. Drawing allows you to pay attention to detail. It really increases your focus. So I would really recommend you that if you have never uh, drawn anything, let it not uh, stop you. Once you'll start drawing, you'll notice how much you pay attention to detail and how it improves your life. And another thing that Ruskin noticed in his time is that with the invention of railways and the train tickets getting cheaper and more and more people being able to afford it, he noticed that many tourists um, enjoy sightseeing in a very brief manner. He says that we should emphasize the quality of our experience instead of the quantity of it. He says that when people travel to Florence, they want to see everything in five days. They want to see by breakfast, all the wonderful paintings that, that the Uffizi Gallery hosts, but uh, he asks us to pay attention, to do a research before we go anywhere, to fully understand the background of buildings, the messages that the paintings contain. And this is a very pertinent advice because I recently read an article by Tate Modern which said that people spend only eight seconds per painting when they visit the gallery. So Ruskin's advice is very relevant to our time. I would really recommend you to buy this wonderful book called To See Clearly Why Ruskin Matters. Yeah. And I really hope that this advice is really hopeful and useful to you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments so I will know what format do you like. You can find more books on my website. I'll link it all down below and I'll see you in the next one.